ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Know that they ride. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Ra Harper here one more time. And in this occasion, I'm still in my room, actually. You know, I'm still in my hotel room. Um, I wanted to drop this content to you guys as soon as possible. You know, I just, it's back to back, back to back. Every two, three days, I want to drop some new content. So I want to make sure that this comes out. Right now, I'm doing the final touches on my Baya Ibe video. So that's coming up in two seconds. So Baya Ibe, just to give you some content, some context, Baya Ibe is actually... A small beach town that belongs to La Romana, which is like the major city closer to Valle Um It's about an hour and 15 to an hour and 30 minutes from the Santo Domingo International Airport. It's also about the same distance, like an hour and a half from Bávaro, which is another airport there, Punta Cana. So you could actually land or travel to each one of the airports and you, you know, it'd be okay. Um... It's, uh, it's a small town, so you're not, it's not going to be over, overcrowded with tourists. I know people, when they talk about Dominican Republic, they only talk about two places or three places. Punta Cana, which is Bávaro. They talk about Sosua, and they talk about the capital, Santo Domingo. I want you guys to see this whole country. Dominican Republic has a lot to offer. And, you know, I want to make sure that you guys got options when you're trying to visit this country. Not just go to the same places. And if you've already been to those places, here is some other place which is going to be more kickback, laid back for you to, you know, relax, chill, enjoy the beach, enjoy like the tourism. There's so many tours that you could do in Bahia Ibe. They have the island tours that you could go to different islands. They have the island Saona, which is an amazing island that you could spend the whole day. They also have like the ATV tours. There's so many things that you could do here. And if you need the plug, you could always reach out. Ask me a question in the comment. Check me out on IG at RyeHarperINTL on IG. And ask any question. I could plug you with anything that you might need over there. Um, in this occasion, I didn't do a travel guide for Baya even, But I still could respond to any question that you might have. If you need a consultation, you could also check me out. And then we could do... You know, we could get on the phone and we could actually, and I could guide you to the process or any questions you might have about not just by Yaive, any of the cities or the town cities in Dominican Republic. So I hope you love this video. I love my time in Bayaibe. And I talk to you towards the end of the video so I could finalize it and conclude it in a nice way, you know? Brr, brr. Restaurants, little bars. This is the kind of life you like, you know. This is a really nice, nice setup. And then, like, if you keep going down the block, you can see there's more, like, apartments and complexes and stuff like that. This is a really good look. This is a really good look. Yeah. By Yaibe. We still, this is still part, part of La Romana. We're still in La Romana. By Yaibe is one of the most beautiful beaches in La Romana. We went to La Caleta and now we're going to show you by Yaibe as well. And give you some options. There's a lot of things to do on the east side of the island. Right now, this is the east side. And I just want to show you guys a few places. Going back in this direction, I'm gonna go pick up my friends real quick. They're getting their drink on. Right here. This pool is getting the drink. Oh, this is like a supermarket right here. See, they have everything, bro. Get your little drink on. Right here. Growing this all kind of drinks.
So, this is the small supermarket here too. This is not even big. And you can see they have a lot of stuff here, bro. But this is a tourist area. So guys, this area that we walk in, you know, we're just getting to know the town. This is where people like live. Um, there's a big community of Italians here that, you know, they came as a tourist, they came as a vacation trip, and now they live in Bahia Ibe. You see there's a lot of candles, and there's a lot of apartment building complexes where, you know, the community lives. So there's those like, two, three different um, supermarkets, there's a lot of restaurants, man. There's a beautiful community that lives in Bahia Ibe and it's everything close to the beach because the major, the number one um, attraction in Bahia Ibe is the beach. So you guys are gonna get, the be get to see the beach very shortly. These are all apartments and condos and they all rent them. You know, pick your pick shoes. And everybody's just walking around here, man. It's, you know, it's easy. You don't really have to rent a car unless you're planning to go outside. Like, if you're going to like another city, you want to go to Santo Domingo, the capital and things like that. Otherwise, you don't really need a car. You can rent the scooter and just, you know, go on your way. And this whole, all kind of excursions as well. Look right here, excursions. Um, write this down. And diving too. This is new here. This one's nice too. And there's more coming up too. New, new construction. Gift shop. Little gift shop area. Yeah, the blue thing right now. Mm. Another market. As you can see, we have multiple markets out here, bro. What, baby? What? Mira, ¿y por qué tú tan aburrido ese? Coño, me lo riendo, te lo digo. Bueno, Puchi, por aquí no es, ¿no? This is funny. Here we kept walking and enjoying the scenery and just talking and having conversations and we got lost. We went through the wrong street. So now we're gonna go all the way up and come around 
to where we parked so we could go to the area to the other area at the beach man this was so funny we was cracking up the whole way up because we told we was going to make a left a right and just you know get to the other block but we actually got lost and we couldn't turn right so this is this happens man but i mean nothing is super far here in Baja even everything is within walking distance so it was a good look This is we are by Ayibe, bro. And this is the park right here. The Instituto Municipal de Turismo, this is the tourist. Um, it's closed though. It's the tourist area or tourist offices. Yes, that's where they are. This is really pretty out right here. No. Way. Vaya ahí, ve. Mándame una foto sexy especial para mí. Toma el celular, ponte a posar. Mándame la foto, mami, no pienses más. Mándame una foto sexy, mándame una foto. Tómate una foto sexy, tómate una foto. Mándame una foto sexy, mándame una foto. Tómate una foto sexy, sexy, sexy. Lluvia negra, el verdadero guerrero urbano. We here. Here on this side is all the fishermen, and then all the catamar catamaranes, all the tours come from this area right here. And you go from here to Isla Saona. There's many tours they do from here. But if you want to come to the beach, you just enjoy the beach. Right here, this is Beach Bayaibe. Really nice, really nice area. I mean, most of the Beach in, beaches in DR are really pretty. This one is pretty as well. Look at these little houses right here by the beach, man. This is incredible. And this is the golden hour. As you guys can see, the sun is coming down, sunset is setting up. My favorite time to come to the beach. This is amazing view. Just amazing. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love this right here. Just gorgeous. And again, this is during the week. So, on a weekday, it's not gonna be like super packed. Then if you come on the weekend, you know it's gonna be packed. Right. What's up? Hola. Hola. Wow, look at that tree. 
I must have been during the hurricane season. Wow. Look at the water. Super clear. Super clear. Super clear water. This is beautiful. Wow. Amazing. And here is where you're gonna get like all the bars, beach clubs by the beach. These are mostly beach clubs and stuff. You could get your food, um, drinks, the rent chairs, massage, all sorts of things, music. This is where you need to be if you that's what you're into. Look at this water. So clear. And then towards the end, that big building, that's a restaurant. You know, that's if you want to be on the fancy side. Basically when you're done, when you come from the catamaran, from all the scorchings and all the tours, then look at this. This is by the beach, right here by the beach, at the port, like, it's like all the boats there. And then you have a nice drink, look how nice this is. See how cool this is? And then this is the view, like... So this is when you go have your nice dinner. This is actually the most popular one. Omo... Omo restaurant. The other ones are actually empty. And then... You know, your parking spot is over here. You could keep going that way as well if you want to. This is another restaurant here. Let me show you a little bit of this side. So basically, you could keep going as far as the end of the road. There's another restaurant at the end. And it's this side here. Look how nice this is. This is really pretty. This restaurant, Betty Blue, is closed tonight. But it's really nice, though. So. And then you have this one, too. This is a really cute one. This is a really nice one here too. And this is more over there like a bar. I don't know if they serve food, but definitely drinks. And this whole corner here is super cool. This one is my favorite one right here because they have the nice happy hour. What is the happy hour? Happy hour, baby, alcohol. So yeah, this is a nice one here. And then again, that one is closed. 
But look at the view, like while you're sitting here, you got this amazing view. How cool is that? And then there's that little park there too that you can buy your stuff and eat it there if you want to. Gift shops. This is all right here in Bahia Ibe. Bahia Ibe at the beach. So this is a really nice look. This is very pretty. Very pretty. Like look how cool this is. This is a really cute park. I mean, you can actually go in the water through here. You go down the steps and jump in the water. It's very hollow. And it's all around. So that, by the way, look, this whole area is filled with bars and restaurants. The, the other side as well, there's more stuff. And again, on, during the weekend, this is packed. Today is during week, so, you know, only tourists basically are here, but during the weekend, you could find like locals, tourists, the mixture, mixture of people here. Like this is an old restaurant right here. This is super cool. This is another one. And then from this one, you could actually get the side of the street and you get the side of the ocean. And this is, you know, you can see the catamarans here park. I'm like sitting here, it's chilling, but the, oh, this is amazing. And look at here, this is another one over here. I don't even think we need to go, it's more of the same. Super amazing view. Like candlelight dinner. Oh my God, this is amazing. And then you can see all the boats right here. The water is mad clear. Very, very clear. By the way, you could jump in the water in any of these areas and it's okay. And because it's the tropics, it's always hot. Now guys, I really hope you like the video. Again, I'm gonna leave all the links in the description. I'm gonna leave a link where you could buy all my product, everything that I buy, when I'm ready to travel, everything that has to do with all my equipment, I'm gonna put it in the link. I'm also gonna put in the link like where I buy all my stuff, all the fashion that I do. For this trip in Dominican Republic, I wanted to do like low budget um, fashion. So I actually have it um, Amazon, I'm storefront with all the links and you can check them out. My pants, I keep talking about the pants because the pants were sick. So this time on this trip, I actually did like a low cost for Amazon. On my next trip, I'm gonna do a low cost for H&M. So that, you know, for those of you guys that can't afford Gucci, Balenciaga and all that stuff, you could also look great, fashionable, with, you know, with stuff that is not super pricey. And that's actually, you know, you could get it within a day or two on the mail, which is actually cool. You don't have to, you know, drive to no stores and stuff like that. So I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna put it on the link. So make sure you click on my store, Amazon storefront, so you can see everything that I have there for you guys. Also, I also link towards the bottom of the description, like my shop where I sell my bags, my accessories, all this stuff. Check out my products, like I design that other stuff, so you're able to get it if you're interested. If not, you know, good vibes, still good vibes, good vibes always. So talk to you guys on the next one. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. There's so much content coming your way. This, I still have like three more videos from Dominican Republic. Make sure you subscribe, man. Talk to you on the next one. It's your boy. Brr, 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 yeah.